All right, everyone, how's it going? Sora here once again with an action figure review, this time of Mezco's 112 Collective Batman Sovereign Knight figure. This is probably one of my favorite lines that I've seen come out. I don't usually, I don't really collect action figures. I just see what I like and I just buy it if I have the money for it. And when I saw the Sovereign Knight, I just was like, I just have to get it. It's like, I love Batman. Batman's my favorite superhero, and this is like, a really cool action figure and uh, I just I really like Mezco's 112 uh, line it's it's one of my favorite lines that I've seen and again I don't collect these action figures but I just I just had to have this one at least so for those that don't know uh, Sovereign Knight is part two in Mezco's trilogy of Batman throughout the years uh, a little while ago they came out with the Ascending Knight based on Batman's first appearance or uh, the year one storyline so this is Batman more in his like in his prime basically. He's a few years in, he's he's gotten he's gotten the hang of the ropes and he's gotten used to it. And in a few years or so they're already teasing the next one. I forgot what it was called, but it's they've they've already started showing off some teaser teaser photos for it. But I knew that when I saw the Sovereign Knight, I knew I had to get it, so let's just dive right in. So before we get to the action figure, I just wanted to show you guys the packaging. Which is something I always wondered about in action figure reviews, why people tend to show off the boxes first. Because I didn't see a point to it. But I figured, if you are if you just bought this figure, you might be wondering, you know, is yours fake? Is yours real or whatnot? Which is something that I never considered. But here's what the packaging looks like. This is the sleeve, actually, that it comes in. Um, a little Batman logo on, on either side of the packaging. Nice big Batman logo on a gray... On a solid gray background, I think, yeah, the whole thing is gray. Sorry, the lighting. I have like a giant light right here. It's messing it up for me. But they, these two colors are the same. It just it's just hard to tell. Maybe the sides are a little bit lighter. I don't know. And on the back of it is probably the promo shot that we've seen before. Just these four pictures of Batman right here. All the stuff that he comes with. And when you open up the sleeve, he comes in this just standard gray 112 collective line says it on all sides except for the bottom has some credits on the bottom and on the back is Mezco's giant logo so there you go when you pull out the action figure it everything comes in everything comes in a packaging that looks like this I've already taken the I've already taken the figure out in a couple of ex accessories but that's what see, you see on the front on the back of it, actually, is where the figure stand is at, and the um, the cape uh, cape cables or whatever you guys want, where you want to call it, comes with a claw for the for the stand, and this little ringlet for the. Let's take it out, actually. You're supposed to attach the little cape. To these things and this attaches to the figure stand like so and you can attach up to five it comes with five comes with two long ones and two and three short ones and these clip on to the cape itself because the cape is fabric if you want to take some dynamic shots of the cape maybe flying through the air or whatnot um, if you want Batman to be like uh, gliding through the streets of Gotham there you go um, I'm a little bit more partial to a wired cape, actually. Um, I feel like I would have preferred that, but I guess I understand why they. Uh, I guess I understand why they did it like this, because the cape itself that they use is pretty thin, and maybe putting a wire on it would. I don't know. Maybe it would have messed with the quality. I'm not sure exactly. And regardless, um, it does not come with a wired cape. If that's what you were wondering. Um, before we get to the actual figure itself, I just wanted to show off the accessories that he comes with. Because he does come with a number of them. Um, starting with the alternative heads. So, he comes with... He comes with a Bruce Wayne head. And again, this is supposed to be Batman throughout the years. So, this is your standard Bruce Wayne face. Um, he's got a bit of stubble. He's got a little bit of gray hairs, actually, on the, on the sides. Um, and on the back of his hair, um, back of his hair, back of his head, and it's, I, I like it, it's, it's, it's pretty much Bruce Wayne as he's usually depicted, you know, slick, slick back, black hair, um, 
kind of a strong, you know, strong chin, serious face, blue eyes. Yeah, it's, it's fucking Batman. Um, also comes with a battle damaged version of the standard uh, cowled or masked face. You can see, you can see the Bruce Wayne sculpt right underneath it. It's pretty cool. Um, kind of wondering who he would be fighting that would claw at his at his mask like that. In the promo shots, he's fighting Superman, but but that's because of another accessory. I like the little bloody the bloody lip going on and the little streak of blood going on on the side right there. Let's see if my camera will focus on that. Probably not. This is the best as I can get it. I like the gritted teeth. It's very cool. Um, he also comes with this, and. It's cool that they included it for those that like it, but I wish it was just a standard face. Um, he comes with a version with the short ears as well. And um, I didn't, don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> it I, I like the short ears. It's cool. Um, I like that they went with the standard long ears just because that's what I know Batman as. But I feel like if they were going to give us short ears, they should have given us a standard expression. Because the way his teeth are gritted, it just it looks kind of lame. Honestly. Anyway, moving on from the head sculpt, he also comes with the Bat Drone, which is pretty cool. Something that maybe he would have late in his career as he develops his technology. Something to somewhere where he gets into the fear aspect of his uh, of his Batman career. Comes with red eyes and like it is articulated so that you can spin this thing all the way around and it, you can move the wings in and out that much pretty cool don't know what he would use it for um he also comes with um i'm gonna call it the sonic emitter from like the arkham games um maybe he uses it as like an emp device or maybe even as a listening device just because i see this little little dish right here it which does spin and i don't know if it's supposed to but it does really cool it's painted really well um no splotches as far as I can see. There's a little red dot in the middle right there. Um, comes with a grapnel gun. Really nice. Um, painted really well. And it comes with a version... Comes with two versions of the uh, claw that it attaches to. Well, yeah, I would, yeah, two. There's one that is just standard right here. And then you're supposed to stick this onto the front. Like so. It's very pointy. On all sides. Also comes with this version, which is attached to a string. And I'm not going to take the string out, but basically you attach this end, ideally, to here. There you go. For some dynamic shots with that. Also comes with a giant battering, which I actually have attached to the finger, but here I'll show you. Um... It's kind of, ooh, it's bigger than the rest of the Batarangs. I'm not sure why, maybe it's a special Batarang, but it, it's got some detail on it as well. Painted really well, sculpted really well. Really pointy, as is with most of the things in this figure. Um, speaking of the Batarangs, he comes with 10 of them. They're really tiny individual Batarangs. They're all pointy, I will not take them out of this packaging. He also comes with um, one, two, three, four, five sets of hands and then an extra hand. This is the extra hand he comes with. It's a kryptonite knuckle duster for his right hand. And the green is translucent, which is really, really nice. Comes with a pair of... Uh, comes with a pair of uh, gripping hands, actually. I have that misplaced. He comes with a pair of gripping hands. Pretty standard. The hands on these on this figure is like soft enough. It's like pliable enough that you can stick the accessories in there, but it, it feels sturdy enough that it'll hold. Comes with a pair of these um, gesturing hands. I have one of them attached to the figure, so that's why I'm only showing you the one, but they're pretty much the same except on the opposite hand. Um, so that's what that looks like. Comes with a pair of closed fist hands. Just, you know, standard, standard balled up fists if you want Batman to punch something. 
um, comes with a pair of these hands, which is for um, a grapnel gun or the sonic emitter. Oh, and that's what it is. That's what I'm, that's what I was missing. He comes with a pair of uh, these hands, which kind of look like the um, which kind of look like the whole gripping hands or whatever. Except if you'll notice that there's an indentation between the finger, the index finger and the middle finger. That's for sticking batarangs into it, so that way you can hold batarangs in between his hands. I think he can hold up to three if I'm looking at it correctly. Or maybe just two. Maybe just two, but you could probably use like a box cutter and like slice that open and um, stick more batarangs in there so that you can get his whole hand to hold batarangs. I don't know, up to you. If you're willing to cut open this $80 figure, which by the way is a pretty moderate price for a figure of this quality. Considering that um, Figma's selling the Bloodborne figure for like, what, $90? Or that you were selling the Bloodborne figure for $90? Same thing with the Persona Joker figure. But, anyway, I don't, enough of that. That's all the accessory he comes with. Um, lots of little batarangs, lots of little hands. It's it's really for posing. If you were coming in here for Batman's wide array of uh, gadgets, you're not going to get it. But he does come with a bunch of them. That The most notable one is uh, the bat the most notable gadgets you want Batman to come with, the batarang. The second one's probably the grapnel gun. I think if you have those two, you're probably sold. Um, oh, and he comes with this too it's a little baggy to put his uh put all his little accessories in if you're not if you're gonna throw the box away anyway as we approach the 12 uh the 12 minute mark um let me show you the last accessory he comes with which is the batman stand really shiny and glossy if i can show you that it's kind of hard to show you but yeah anyway the figure itself which i have imposed holding the giant battering um it's, it's sculpted really well from this, the minimal amount of sculpt that you can see. Um, I just want to show off also the last, the, mo the default Batman hand that he comes with, which is just, you know, Batman's neutral resting bitch face um, expression. Sorry. Angry is his neutral face. It's, it's again, it's sculpted really well. It's um, painted really well. Don't see any, imp any imperfections in the sculpt whatsoever. You see, there's even little, um, he even has a little scar going down his lip. Um, maybe from that fight with the, with the broken, uh, with the broken cowl from earlier. There it is all the way around. The, um, the cape is like, feels like two different materials. It's a lot, it's a lot more, um, shiny and, uh, glossy on the back of it, but on the front, it's kind of a, kind of a darker, more matte color to it. If you notice the way that the light is hitting, if you notice the way that the light is hitting, um, this side versus this side. The bat symbol itself is gigantic, and I think it's pegged into the body of the, of the figure underneath, so there's probably a hole sticking through the cloth fabric right there. The, again, it's gigantic, serves its purpose, because if, um, for those uninitiated, the bat symbol, the reason why it's there is to act as a bit of protection for Batman, so it would make sense that it would be gigantic. I like that it's the straight up, just the big, uh, bat, the black bat symbol without the little yellow underlines to it. Um, as much of a fan as I am of the Rebirth, um, uh, design, I'm glad that this one is more of the, m more of the new 52, new 52 take on it, in which... It's very black and gray, you know. I appreciate the colors that the Rebirth figure gives Batman, but I also appreciate just a standard um, black and gray Batman with the with the giant gold belt that he comes with, which was standard up until Rebirth. There's also a little um, little holder for the grapnel gun, so you can actually stick the grapnel gun in there. Um, it's very pliable. I don't. I haven't test, tested to see if it'll break. And I'm not going to, but just be mindful because it is um, flexible fabric. It's just a floating, it's a belt. Because um, it is just a straight jumpsuit. Um, ooh, the battering fell, but whatever. The gauntlets, um, pretty cool. Uh, there's a bit of, there's a bit of like gloss right here at the very end of that. And also the little fins are tiny, but very sharp. They feel sturdy. 
if I can, if that gives you an accurate description of it. Um, he also has knee pads and the boots. Boots are also shiny at the very edges right there. I like the amount of detail that went into the design of the figure and like, you know, okay, Batman later this. Batman in his midway through his career, what would he probably want? Probably more mobility and flexibility. So he can, you know, kind of turn, kind of tone the suit down a little bit maybe and uh, focus more on like protection on where it counts. So, you know, give him some gauntlets, the, the knee pads on the boots, um, simplify the simplify basically the exterior because you're not supposed to be seen anyway um the cape is also gigantic i posted an unboxing video with my friend journey so and we kind of held up the cape and it is gigantic it's a lot harder to do with just one person right now but that's that's as much as it goes you can actually um drape it over his entire body like that which is really cool um but i'm also glad that it just naturally folds behind him like this because that's 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 batman right there um moving on to articulation his head is on a ball joint um pretty good range of motion um turns this way turns that way looks up kind not really look it doesn't really look up actually but he does look down quite a bit um keep in mind that as i'm doing this articulation that the um that the main fabric of it, the main figure is made out of fabric, like the outside of it. So if I'm a little hesitant in moving this stuff around, understand that that's probably the reason why. Um, his his arms go all the way up like that um, and goes forward and back as well. Again, be careful with the fabric. Um, appears to have a bicep swivel. Yeah, there's a bicep swivel there. Just don't want to move it around too much. Um, double joints on the elbows. And um, no wrist rotation, but sorry, no gauntlet rotation, but there is wrist rotation. And um, the hands go forward and back based on how you have it set up. Um, so the wrist itself is separate. So you can have them go up and down or side to side, depending on which way you have it turned. Um, no, well, very little ab crunch. I, I wouldn't even count that. It's just very slight movement on the abs, but you can turn that to the side if you want. Um, no lower no lower waist articulation um but the legs go all the way out that much um go forward this much and go back that much um double jointed on the knees and um no boot rotation none um but his ankle is on a ball joint so you can get a pivot in there as well, and as well as going going back and f going back, not as much going forward, quite a bit. But um, it's pretty. It's a pretty cool figure. I I didn't even mention that the the main feature that I actually appreciated was was the cloth on it. So a lot of people were having some issues because the promo shots were all in like a darker gray with like white or light gray undertones but the figure came out and it's more of a flat solid gray color and i i gotta say i i like the gray i, li I like the standard gray on it i like that they went for with for this gray color um i appreciate that it's gray color um but um i haven't seen what the i haven't seen what the third figure looks at i don't think there's any photos of that yet um, there is that one promo shot, but his back is completely turned to the camera. Um, but I love this figure a lot as a Batman fan. Um, also, as someone who's, who collects figures in this scale, um, I appreciate the amount of uh, the, the amount of uh, effort that they um, put into a figure of this of this scale. And it's on this whole line, um, it actually makes me want to go buy the the Joker figure. The Joker figure, but it's like really expensive now because it was limited edition. Also, um, maybe I'm maybe I'm wishful thinking that maybe they'll come out with another version of Joker. Um, but in any case, I just want something to pair um, Batman up with. You know, all in all, a really decent figure. If you are a big, if you are a fan of Batman, I would highly suggest getting this one. It is, um, it is like the most. Um, I, I would feel like it's the most standard of all the Batman that would you would probably get. Um, 
Ascending Night is like for people who are more fans of like the year one look and also the the cow is more based on his first appearance. Um so I assume that I assume that the last one is gonna be a bit more of um Batman way, way, way late into his career. Um so that might be the figure you're gonna get in that sense. The one issue I will have with this figure is that uh, there's only one peg hole in the stand, and it's right down the center of it. He does have um, peg holes underneath his feet, but when I have him pose like this, he's just kind of off to the side of the <laughs> off to the side of the base itself, and it feels a little awkward. I have him posed with a little bat signal that I have already, but he does not come with that, so I don't know. Um, but that is the same because uh, the, it's in the center because that's the same hole that you put the the flight stand on, so. Maybe that's why, but I, it could do with some more holes in it. Maybe if the fabric was also a bit more pliable, that way I'm not so scared to move it around for a figure of this um, quality. Um, and also, based on the cost of this figure, um, you really don't want to pose it around too much. It's more, again, it's more of a collector's item. Uh, one thing I didn't show, actually, was that... Um, Right inside of the packaging, there's a little note from the from 112 from Mezco's uh, 112 collective line. It just basically says that this is a collector's item, is not a toy. Um, I think all over the packaging it says something like for collectors by collectors. So it's really not for it's really not for standard play. Um, which I I mean I not really what I was gonna use it for anyway. But you know regardless of that. Oh there you go Mezco toys by collectors for collectors so it will look really good on your shelf a figure of this size and for um you know it's posability you you know you can you get a lot of mileage out of it so i i would say if you have them paired up with another figure from this line you know from the same series it would look really really good all in all i would give it a high recommend especially especially if you're a batman fan which i am um but that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. This video is really, really long, but it's just, it comes with a lot of stuff, man. Um, so I'm, I was trying to keep the video concise, but he does come with so many things and there's so many things to go over with him. But in any case, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.